Hey everybody, we have two really big things to announce here for AI. Number one is we dropped the entire publisher right within the AI Writer tool. So you could in one sitting just go through all of your social media responsibilities. Second big thing is GPT Plus, ChatGPT Plus, now allows image generation and we've built that into our prompting system. So you could generate amazing images and we've added another little feature where you can just drag these on over. Look at this. It generated these beautiful images. You could charge so much money to do this for your clients. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in just a minute. But it wrote all of this, generated these, everything's done for you. Let's go through how this gets done. Okay, well, let's start at the beginning. I'm gonna jump into AI Writer, which is on the left nav. I'm gonna to go to social media. This is gonna launch chat GPT on the right. The one thing you need to make sure of if you wanna do the images, go to the top right and go to Dolly 3. Make sure that's selected. And if you don't see that, either you haven't enabled your beta features, which is done in the left nav over here. Go to settings and you wanna enable the beta features. The other reason might be that you haven't upgraded to GPT Plus yet. So ChatGPT Plus is $20 a month, but it is so, so worth it. It gives you pretty much 95 to 98% availability. So if you were getting a bunch of errors before where it wasn't available, the system was down or whatever, I've found that ChatGPT Plus is available, like, like I said, 98% of the time. Second reason is it gives much better results. The third reason is it generates images, which is gonna save you so much time. These aren't Canva templates. These are bespoke, custom for you images that you will not find anywhere else on the web. So you can offer your services for generating these custom images as if you opened up Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator and created these amazing images. Um, one other reason I, wanna, I might wanna mention here is there's so many cool plugins so you can add hundreds of different plugins. You can even generate videos from within ChatGPT and drag them over to our publisher. So there's my pitch. I'm gonna jump into how you use this. So first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna go over to industry specific tips. Let's generate, let's say three posts to keep this clean. And I'm gonna do this on buying commercial real estate. I'm not gonna include a call to action and I'm not gonna include hashtags in this example because I wanna use the hashtag groups and the call to action groups feature within Socialmonials. So you either use one or the other. So that already copies the prompt to my clipboard, so I'm just gonna paste this here and let it go to work. So first thing it's gonna do is generate three social posts based on my specifications. And GPT-4 is a little bit slower but the results are totally worth it. Now you'll notice down below, generate images is already open. That's something we changed because we're so proud of it. Um, I'm gonna copy this great prompt, which is going to allow us to generate a bunch of examples for the first post. So first thing it's gonna do is create options for the first one that are varied. The styles will be varied. Once we select which one we like, it's going to generate the remaining posts and it's being told to do so like it's a series of posts to have a very similar look and feel. And it does take a little bit of time here to generate the images. And I've noticed that it'll generate four when it's not too busy, but if the system is super busy, um, I've noticed that it likes to generate only two options, which is not the end of the world. Um, usually the two are pretty good. So now it's gonna ask me here, which one is the style that I like? Um, let's see here. I am gonna choose two, because I like what it created. Um, it says choose one, two, three, or four. You don't need to memorize what I'm telling you, because I've programmed it to, tell, to ask you what to respond with. So it's prompting me one, two, three, or four. I'm gonna say image two and then just let it go to work. So now it's going to give me the remaining images for those other two social posts. While we're waiting though, I'm gonna show you another cool feature. I can immediately go over to this new publisher tab. Now we have a complete social media scheduler right here. Remember before, it only allowed us to create drafts. 
Now we can actually add it to the queue. We can schedule it into the future. We could publish it immediately. All of those options are here. So here are the two remaining posts that look kind of similar to make it look like it's more of a series, keeping that consistency. So we've also asked it to repost um, the different posts right here below it. So you don't need to scroll all the way to the top. Um, we will need to do that here for this first one because I'm going to select, we selected this one. So I'm going to grab the text for the post. I'm going to paste that here and then I'm just going to drag this over. Now there's one thing you need to understand with the only browser that requires a download is if you're using a Mac and you're using Chrome. If you're on a PC, it works on all browsers. But if you're on a Mac and a Chrome, I'm going to show you how to do it. Really simple. Just click this little download icon and then drag the text over and it works great. So I'm going to attach that image and we're good to go. I'm going to add this to the queue. So that's ready to go. Now we can move on to the other posts. So I'm going to take the second one now and just copy this, paste it here. And then I'm going to um, download this one and drag it over. So now this one's added to the queue and I'm going to go on to the third one. So this is giving people tips on how to buy commercial real estate. Oops, I forgot. You can't do that in Chrome. So I'm going to do a quick download and drag. Okay, for this one, I'll do something a little different just to show you how dynamic this is. Let's say I want to create a custom pin title. All I need to do is go back to the AI writer. It's not going to lose my place. You could switch back and forth without losing anything. And I can either generate more posts, a totally new set of posts, or I can go back to my optional refinements. So if I want to generate, let's say I want to generate infographics based on this. Um, if I want images that don't contain any, any text in them, I can do that. But I'm going to scroll down here to where it says, create a Pinterest pin title. And it's automatically going to copy that to the clipboard. Let's create a pin title for these posts. And remember, you could do up to 10 posts at a time. I only set it to do three, but you can definitely do up to 10 at a time. Okay, so these pin titles, let's see here. I'm going to grab just these, this part right here. And let's switch back over to the publisher, and I'll just drop that straight in here. And I'm going to add this one to the queue. So now I've created three posts with totally bespoke images created just for me. And it's so simple to do and it's almost fun. I hope you guys um, get a ton of use out of this. I have to tell you, if you're creating a single post, it's smart enough to only create four variations of that one um, post image and then you could choose which one you want. And again, if you choose you know, two or more, it's gonna generate four versions of the first post and then use that style for the subsequent posts after that. And when you're all done here, you can go back to the AI writer. And if you wanna create something different, you can change up your industry specific tips or go back and create something completely different like promoting your website or creating industry specific tips. And just remember that this is where you select the number of posts that you want it to create. And when you're done, just generate a new prompt and you can switch over to the publisher when you're ready to publish it. Enjoy, you guys. Um, you have now become insanely productive. So um, just start thinking of what you're going to do with your leftover time. Have a good day.